So I just finished picking up all the scraps I had laying around here from the sauna build. I was just too lazy in the, the fall and it got too late and I we got a ground covering of snow and I was like, uh, I'll pick them all up in the, in the springtime. So just finished doing that and probably just gonna burn those scraps in the fire. We'll start with a clean slate then. So today I'm gonna be talking about my next build. This will be like an introductory um, video to the hot tub build. I'm gonna put like a series together. So I won't do the whole build in one video. I'll kind of give videos as I, as I complete them because it will take me a few weeks to get this completed. There's quite a few steps involved in the, in the construction of it. So I'm gonna take you through those and kind of my idea behind the design for the build. So the build is actually gonna take place right here. Kind of give you the lay of the land. Where I'm standing is basically where the hot tub is going to be. We got the sauna right off to my left over here. And then right out front, we have the lake. Basically what is gonna happen is deck that spans all the way out here, maybe like 10 by 16 foot deck. That way we have a little more space to sit and then you have the hot tub kind of inset into that deck. The first step that I have to take is kind of excavating a little. So I'm gonna do the excavation by hand. Right where I'm standing, there's going to be a five by five foot concrete slab that I'm going to build myself and first I have to excavate the the ground and just kind of create a level surface that way I can pour a nice even slab probably gonna do four or five inches thick on that because the water and the weight of the people in the hot tub is gonna be pretty substantial so first steps going going to be pouring a concrete slab a quick overview before I get into details is basically I'm going to build a hot tub out of stainless steel stock tanks and then I'm going to use my wood burning stove in the sauna to heat the sauna as well as the hot tub. So I'm basically tying the hot tub into the sauna and how I'm going to do that is I bought 60 feet of 3 quarter inch copper coil. Sauna has an exhaust pipe. It's just a single wall black exhaust pipe and I'm going to take that copper coil and wrap it around just so I harness the heat from the exhaust and then I'll pump the water from the hot tub through that copper coil that's going around the exhaust pipe and then it'll flow right back into the hot tub and so essentially while I'm heating the sauna I'll also be heating the hot tub once I turn on my circulation pump and I didn't mention mention this before but basically it's going to be two stock tanks welded together. The top one's going to be a six foot diameter one, and then the lower one is going to be a three foot diameter. And that way it creates kind of like a natural bench from the reduction in diameter of the stock tank. The three foot diameter stainless steel stock tank is gonna bear right on my concrete foundation. And then I'm going to frame up with two by fours basically supports underneath the overhang of the six foot diameter stock tank and that way when people sit on there or when the water's filled up it's not putting all that stress on that weld it, it's it's supported underneath there I have no experience welding or anything like that but I do have a buddy who has experience uh, with that and the tools necessary to weld so hopefully it'll be a learning process for for myself and uh, we can figure it out because that's really where things could go wrong is if we don't get that weld perfect then we'll be dealing with a lot of a lot of leaks so basically from a section view what the hot tub is going to look like is you're gonna have the six foot stock tank on top here and then it's going to come in a bit so you'll have an 18 inch bench on either side and then the three foot diameter stock tanks going to come down here and what I'm going to need to do is cut this three foot one down to 18 inches that way you have like a nice comfortable bench here 
and then cut obviously out of the six foot diameter stock tank a three foot diameter hole and then the weld is going to take place right there all around the circumference of that circle. After we get the stock tanks welded together and a few holes cut out just for the intake and the return for the hot water, um, I'm just gonna do those intakes and returns just using kind of like your standard plumbing fittings. And then what I'm thinking is to maximize my 60 foot copper coil around the exhaust pipe is I'll wrap all 60 feet around there and then, or give or take five, five feet, on either end just so that the the copper is the only thing showing in the sauna and then I'm going to tie it into PEX tubing so I'll use the PEX tubing to kind of run the 5 to 10 feet from the hot tub to the sauna it'll connect to the copper coil run around the exhaust pipe and then come back out and then tie back into a PEX tubing for the return so that that'll just help me save a little money on copper uh, tubing it's it's super expensive right now so I'm, I'm trying to save money where I can I forgot to mention um, from that run of the intake I'm obviously going to need a circulation pump in order to get the the water to circulate through the coil so I am planning on buying a circulation pump just like a hot tub one or, or like a small pool circulation pump and that'll that'll provide the circulation needed for the water to keep running through that coil and then returning back into the hot tub so I only started the sauna about 20 minutes ago right before I started filming this video we already got it up to about 100 degrees in here kind of goes to show how quickly you can fire this thing up with some nice dry wood so the idea behind the hot tub and the copper coil is basically the coil is going to come in over here through the sauna wall and then the copper is going to wrap around this exhaust pipe and I don't know if you can see that but we're looking at 500 degrees on, on that right now so I don't think I should have any problem heating the hot tub water. I, I think with this thing cooking in here, the air temperature is gonna be like 150, 160, and then the contact with the copper coil on the black stove pipe is, is probably gonna get up to three, 400 degrees. So about 60 feet of coil around that should, should give uh, adequate time for the water to heat up. In the coming weeks, I'm probably gonna to put together that first video It'll probably just be the excavation and the concrete pour, kind of doing it in phases. So uh, stay tuned for that hot tub build.